What's up guys, Crazy HD here, and today we're going to talk about music and how it saved my life. So, as many of you know, over the last seven years, I've struggled with depression and anxiety. I tried different methods of coping. I tried to find solace and humor, video games, and in keeping myself busy. I played competitive Call of Duty for four years, mostly because it kept me busy, not because I was having fun with it. And that was the problem, is I wasn't having fun, so I easily got frustrated with teammates and blamed everything on everybody else. I always had something to keep me, me focused. I did new things, such as joining the firehouse, becoming an EMT, and I found that one of my passions was EMS, and helping people. I can only work there at my ambulance so much, and I didn't have a big passion for video games anymore. And what I quickly found out was that at the darkest of times, at whether it would be 2 o'clock in the morning or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I could always listen to music. I could hear people tell their stories, listen to upbeat music, hope for my future, and get motivated in the moment. I didn't need drugs. I didn't need alcohol. I needed music. The lyrics spoke the words I was either too afraid to say or I didn't have the courage to speak up about. From six degrees of inner turbulence, which addresses different forms of mental illness, such as PTSD, which is something I have minor symptoms of, to Life Must Go On by Alter Bridge, my music choice generally stayed in two genres, hard rock and heavy metal. I realized that in these genres, drugs and alcohol aren't always the prominent subjects. There are stories of successes and failures. One of my favorite songs, My Champion by Alter Bridge, there's a line that says, the world's going to try and knock you out. Just pick yourself up when you go down. You got to keep fighting and get back up again. This song was released at a terrible point in my life. My cousin Abby died on May 21st at the age of 15. Then my grandma Peggy on September 12th. Then my great grandma on October 16th. If you do the math, that's three deaths in six months. This is coming from a kid who had never buried anybody who he had known. I needed something. I needed help. That song gave me the ju just the motivation I needed to wake up and go to school the next morning after my great-grandmom's funeral. Around the same time, I started to challenge my relationship with God. I questioned whether there was really a higher power, whether there's really heaven, whether there's really something to believe in. I didn't know, and I still don't. Music showed me that I'm not the only one that's gone through that. The entire AB3 album by Alter Bridge is a great example. Or God Hates Us by Avenged Sevenfold. At some point in their life, most people will question their faith. Some people will never get it back. I'm still trying to get mine back, but at the same time, I feel as I don't want to. Some people find solace in believing that this is all part of a God's plan. I find solace in my music still. In my opinion, whatever lets you sleep at night, that's what you should do. If that means you believe in God, believe in God. If not, whatever. As the holidays came around, I started to get more upset. I missed my family. I wanted them back. Two days after Christmas, I found my grandma Peggy's mask card. I sat in bed crying for about an hour. I had two important things there for me. Music and Jacqueline, which is my girlfriend. I listened to some of my favorite songs, sang along with the words, and forgot what I was even crying about. It was around the same time that I decided I made a decision. I was going to buy a guitar and learn to play. A month later, I'm still learning. I still don't know any full songs, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So throughout the last month, when I'm upset, I play guitar. When I'm bored, I play guitar. When I'm happy, I play guitar. When I'm motivated, I play guitar. It gives me something to focus on. Music. That's my story. Music has kept me from doing things that I would regret. It's been there for me my whole entire life. I was just too blind to see it before. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Mike or Crazy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you.